after among the candidates. Before you is Mr. Logi Joshua, and I would want to take you through the topic of area approximation. This is our second last topic in Form 4 syllabus, and I want you to take note of the following that the topic area approximation will want you to take note of one approximation of area by counting now two approximation of area using the trapezoidal rule which in short I can call the trapezium rule three I have the approximation using the mid ordinate rule now to start with, I want us to go direct to the first case, which is area approximation by counting. I want us to take note of a certain village in Ramba location. This village, we call it Kauma village in Ramba location. This is where we are going to approximate the area of an irregular shaped village. And this village is divided into several squares and partial squares. In this area approximation, we are going to use the scale of 1 to 5,000, which can also be shown as a representative fraction of 1 over 5,000. The meaning of this scale is that 1 centimeter represents 5,000 centimeters, which can as well be 1 centimeter represents 50 meters. So in this type of area approximation, I want us to count the full squares, the full squares. And by full squares, I'll take you through because it is an irregular shaped village in Ramba location, and I want us to count the full squares first. So I begin. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and lastly I have 28. So I'll come and talk about my four squares, which are 28. Those are four squares. Then the other squares, I call them the partial squares. And if I count the partial squares from the same Ramba village, I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 26 partial squares. Now approximately I want to convert these 26 partial squares into whole squares. So I need to divide this by 2. Dividing 26 by 2 will give me 13. When I take 13, I add to 28. I'll get a total of 41 centimeters squared. So this 41 centimeters squared is the area of the Ramba village, Kauma village in Ramba location using the representative fraction, I can now get the actual area. So having 128 and 13, I get 41 centimeters squared. Now let me take the one centimeter representing 5,000 centimeters. In terms of square, I'll take one centimeter 
by 1 centimeter to represent 50 meters by 50 meters. This will give me 1 centimeter squared to represent 2,500 meters squared. The 1 centimeter squared is simply from 1 times 1, meaning now area. The 2,500 meters squared is from 50 meters by 50 meters. Now, if 1 centimeter squared represents 2,500 meters squared, what of 41 centimeters squared, which was the total area of Kauma village in Ramba location? So I'll have my 41, which was the total, then I multiply by 2,500. And when I take my calculator, and have 41 times 2,500, I'll have 102,500 meters squared. Already this 41 centimeters squared converted using the scale given, I'll have it as 41 times 2,500, giving me 102,500 meters squared. That is now the actual area of Ramba of Kauma village in Ramba location. But remember, we were told to find the area of this village in hectares. I therefore I'll come and say that since 10,000 meters squared, 10,000 meters squared is equivalent to one hectare, then how many hectares will I have in 102,500 meters squared. So I'll simply have my 102,500 meters squared, of which I divide by 10,000, the meters squared that make one hectare. And then when I divide, I'll have a total of 10, 0.25 hectares. Therefore, in an irregular shaped figure, you are asked to determine the area of the irregular shaped figure. You'll have to perform two things. One, you'll simply have to count the total number of squares, which in my case are 28, and then the partial squares giving me 26. When I divide that by 2, I get 13. Now 28 plus 13 is giving me a total of 41 centimeters squared, which I can convert easily 41 centimeters squared into hectares. By now squaring the 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter to represent 50 by 50, I therefore allow 1 cm squared representing 2,500 meters squared. My total area of 41 cm squared, I multiply it by 2,500, giving me a total of 102,500. When I divide that by 10,000, I get a total of 10.25 hectares. In short, this is the first method of approximating the area. But we are purely approximating the areas of irregular shaped figures. Thank you very much.